Giraffes are native to the savannas, grasslands, and open woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. They are well adapted to a variety of habitats, including both arid and more densely vegetated areas. Giraffes are often found in regions with scattered trees and bushes, as this environment provides them with both food sources and the opportunity to use their long necks to reach leaves high in the trees. Specifically, giraffes can be found in countries such as Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Uganda, and others. They are herbivores and primarily feed on leaves, shoots, and fruits from acacia and other tree species. Giraffes are known for their ability to live in different types of ecosystems, but their populations have faced challenges due to habitat loss, human-wildlife conflict, and poaching. Conservation efforts are underway to protect giraffe habitats and ensure the survival of these unique and iconic animals. Giraffes primarily eat leaves, shoots, and fruits from acacia trees, mimosa trees, and other types of vegetation found in their natural habitats. Their long necks and tongues allow them to reach high branches that are inaccessible to many other herbivores. In captivity, the diet of giraffes is carefully managed to ensure they receive the necessary nutrients. In zoos and wildlife reserves, giraffes are often fed a combination of hay, alfalfa, and specialized giraffe pellets. These pellets are formulated to provide the required vitamins and minerals that might be lacking in their diet. Additionally, they may receive browse, which includes fresh branches and leaves from various trees to mimic their natural foraging behavior. It's crucial to provide a balanced diet to maintain the health and well-being of giraffes, whether in the wild or in captivity. The specific diet can vary based on factors such as age, health, and environmental conditions. Professional caretakers and veterinarians typically oversee the nutrition of giraffes in captivity to ensure they receive appropriate and adequate food. Giraffes are polygamous, and during the mating season, male giraffes, bulls, compete for the attention of females, cows. Bulls may engage in necking, a behavior where they use their long necks to spar with each other, establishing dominance. Once a male establishes dominance, he may approach a female and attempt to mate with her. The gestation period for giraffes is around 15 months, making it one of the longest gestation periods among males. After a successful mating, which a female carries the developing calf in her womb for this extended period. Giraffes usually give birth while standing. The calf drops to the ground, experiencing a somewhat abrupt entrance to the world. Calves are typically born with their hooves and nose first, and the mother helps clean and care for the newborn. Giraffe calves are quite precocial, meaning they are born relatively mature and can stand and walk shortly after birth. The mother and calf form a close bond, and the mother provides care and protection for the calf. Giraffe calves are usually weaned at around 6 to 12 months of age, depending on the individual and environmental conditions. The mother's milk is an important source of nutrition for the growing calf. Giraffes typically reach sexual maturity at around four to five years of age, although this can vary between individuals. Giraffes generally do not have a fixed breeding season, and mating can occur throughout the year. The social structure and behavior of giraffes contribute to the complex dynamics of reproduction within a population. Height and long legs. Giraffes are the tallest land animals, with long legs and a towering neck that allows them to reach high vegetation. This height advantage helps them survey their surroundings and detect potential predators from a distance. It also makes it challenging for predators to launch surprise attacks. Speed and agility. Despite their large size, giraffes are surprisingly fast and agile. They can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour, and have a unique running style, using both front and hind legs in unison. This speed and agility help them escape from predators by outrunning them. Powerful kicks. Giraffes have powerful hind legs, and their kicks can be formidable. When threatened, they may use their legs to defend themselves against predators, including lions. A well-placed kick from a giraffe can be lethal for a potential attacker. Hurting behavior. 
Giraffes often live in loose social groups called towers. Being part of a group provides additional eyes to watch for predators and increases the likelihood of detecting threats early. Predators are less likely to target a group of giraffes due to the potential for a coordinated defense. Camouflage and Pattern Giraffes have a spotted coat pattern that provides effective camouflage in their natural habitat, particularly in the dappled light of the savanna. This pattern helps them blend into the surroundings, making it harder for predators to spot them. Alertness and Communication Giraffes are generally vigilant animals. They have keen eyesight and a good sense of hearing. They communicate with each other using various vocalizations, allowing them to warn others in the group about potential threats. This communication helps the entire tower stay alert and respond collectively to danger. Retreating to open spaces. Giraffes often prefer open spaces where their height and visibility give them an advantage. In more open areas, they can see predators from a greater distance and have more room to use their speed are generally social animals, and they may come together in groups for various reasons such as feeding, protection, or social interaction. However, they do not exhibit the strong social structure seen in some other herbivores. Protecting giraffes involves addressing various threats they face in the wild. Habitat preservation. Support and promote the establishment of protected areas and wildlife reserves where giraffes can roam freely without the threat of habitat loss. Anti-poaching measures. Implement and enforce strict anti-poaching laws to prevent illegal hunting of giraffes for their meat, skin, or other body parts. Community involvement. Engage local communities in giraffe conservation efforts, providing
providing education and involving them in sustainable practices that benefit both the environment and their livelihoods. Research and monitor. Conduct research on giraffe populations to better understand their behavior, genetics, and migration patterns. Monitoring is crucial to identify and address emerging threats. Raise awareness. Increase public awareness about the challenges facing giraffes and their importance in ecosystems. Support and participate in campaigns and initiatives that focus on giraffe conservation. Sustainable tourism. Promote responsible and sustainable tourism practices that do not harm giraffe habitats. Revenue generated from eco-friendly tourism can contribute to conservation efforts. International collaboration. Encourage collaboration between countries and international organizations to address transboundary conservation issues and ensure the free movement of giraffe populations. Legislation and policy. Advocate for and support the implementation of legislation and policies that protect your people. Captivity management. If involved in captive breeding or management programs, ensure they adhere to ethical standards and contribute to the genetic diversity and well-being of giraffes. Remember that individual actions collectively make a significant impact, so spreading awareness and actively participating in conservation efforts can contribute to the protection of giraffes and their ecosystems.